Again, I'm going to take this time out, inshallah, to take any questions. Anybody want to make a statement? Anybody needs clarity, inshallah, please raise your hand. Anything that we discussed or why we're discussing it, I'm giving you guys the opportunity, inshallah, to ask questions. Now, anybody have a question? Anybody need clarity? Anybody need to go back over something? Inshallah, now's the time. Raise your hand. Yes. What does um, Sully, Sully Hot and Kobe, Kobe Tot mean? We have two words, inshallah, and this comes from the ayah, chapter 4, verse 34, and, and in, in this ayah it talks about the best type of woman, as well as it talks about the, the woman that you feel disobedient from, it gives you a prerequisite to how you deal with them, first admonish them. Then it says you remove yourself from the bed or give them the solid treatment, and then the other one is thought about and to tap them or beat them lightly. But before that, it talks about those who are the best of the best, and this is the all me dot and the saw the hot the all me dot or the obedient. The salihat or the righteous. Okay, this is chapter 4, verse 34. The qalitat and the salihat. The qalitat, as expressed in the top seer, it said the best of the best women are those who are the qalitat, those who are obedience. Ibn Abbas said that the obedience is to Allah, from Allah, and obedience to their husbands. Obedience to the husbands with regards to safeguarding his property, his honor, and his house, in his presence and in his absence. This all entails quality talks. Being obedient to the husband, meaning also safeguarding his honor, meaning that you don't talk about your husband behind his back. You don't tell his shortcomings to nobody. You guard his property. You guard his honor. You guard his life. You guard his money. You guard his kids. This is the quality talks. They're obedient to Allah's son of Allah, meaning you're obedient to Allah's son whatever he tells you, whatever commandments, whatever sharia, whatever sunnahs, whatever he tells you that you're supposed to do, whatever you're supposed to do, not do, you're quality talks. And they're quality talks, and they're obedient to their husbands, and that which they like, and that which they don't like. Obedience is just not in the things that you like. Well, I don't like that. Well, because I don't like that, I'm not going to do that. That's not obedience. That's not calling thoughts. Because, see, your husband may understand something or have a better understanding of something that you don't understand. Well, I don't know why. I don't. It's not for you to understand. You may not understand it because you're dealing with emotion. That's why Allah was going to say that the woman, she, she's defective in two manners. She's defective. Right? One, in her intelligence, because she's forgetful. And two, because she bleeds and she ain't able to pray all the time, so therefore she has a defect. Hadith. Said one woman, it takes two women compared to one man because they're forgetful. They forget things. The word Nisa comes from her, Nasa, which means to be forgetful. Nisa, woman, forgetful ones. Okay, a defect. But the Qani Tat are those who are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa whatever he said, and there's those who are obedient to the husbands in that which ma'aruf, in that which is pure, that which is known, that which is halal. Your husband may tell you to do something that you may not understand, you may not like. If it's not haram, man, submit now what time now. He may understand better, he may see something that you don't know. You may not see what he sees. You may not understand what he sees. You may not understand what he understands because your, your perception may not be that far and wide. So he may see something far. He's thinking ahead. Instead of thinking of emotional. Right? The man is analytical. Woman is emotional. He's analytical. They were facts. And Allah blessed him to be the imam. So the imam is the one who got to make the decisions. He, that's why he's in front because he got to see what's going on. The Prophet Muhammad said a woman can't lead nothing. Any country, any people that allow a woman to, to, to be a leader, they'll be losers. A woman can't lead nothing. 
The man's supposed to lead. You hear what you're saying, but at the end of the day, the man is a leader. And then the Saudi hot means those who are righteous. They work righteous deeds. They do what they're supposed to do with regards to um, their actions, with regards to their modesty, with regards to their dress, with regards to what they say and what they don't say. You want to find out how you're supposed to conduct yourself? Read, right, the women around the prophet. Read the women of Medina. Just read books on the lives of the wives of the prophets or the women of Medina. There's a book called the Women of Medina. It tells you the characteristics of all the women, how they did. It said they used to fast all the time. You never see them. They stayed inside. They were charitable. They wore only one garment. They weren't worried about the dunya. Even with regards to the house, what I saw about some said, don't get caught up with houses and building them big and, and stuff and stuff with them because you ain't fit to keep it. He said, be modest. And I saw a used to lay on, a, on, 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 on the floor with date leaves. And he used to have the imprint on his back. And he said that the Sahabas, they used to cry like, y'all, so like that. Why you cry? He said, I've seen kings in Persia. They had all these palaces and whatnot. But you know, Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this is how you live? He said, man, my, my, my living is for the Akira. I don't care about this. He was Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He didn't care about this dunya. He cared about the Akira. Same thing with us. We can't get caught up with these frivolous things. It's a part of it, but don't get caught up with it. So regard to, you know, your clothing and whatnot, man, find the things that are suitable for you. Be obedient to Allah's Allah. With regards to the ayas and the hijab and the khamara, the jalabiyya, the niqab and whatnot, wearing the gloves and whatnot. Be obedient to Allah. Not wearing stuff that's going to show your, your, your shape and whatnot. Not throwing stuff that's thin, that you can see through and all this other stuff. That ain't hijab. That ain't khamara. That ain't covering your aura. That's plain. That's plain. Who you fooling? You fooling the lot? You fooling the believers? No, you're fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself. And when you walk about the house in disobedience, then Allah said these angels is cursing you the whole time you out. Every step you outside, out of pocket, you're being cursed by the angels. Can one be that arrogant? Is one that arrogant? What is the word for arrogance in, in, in Arabic? What's the word for arrogance? Kibber. Oh, kibber. Huh? Kibber. Huh? Because the word kibber comes from the word or is the root word of akbar. Huh? Look at it. Kibber, akbar, kabara, kabara, kibber, akbar. Allah is Akbar. You ain't Akbar. You ain't one who has the right to be kibber or have arrogance. Allah is the one who has the right to be arrogant because he is Allah's Akbar. He is the greatest. Right? He is the most high. He is that. He is all of that. Anyone who shows kibber or any sign of arrogance or I want to do what I want to do, what does it say? Allah says that they want you to smell paradise. Although you can smell a distance 700 miles away, you won't even be able to smell paradise. Anyone who has an Adam's way of kibber. Right? And so kibber is what? He said kibber is not having nice clothes or wearing nice shoes or looking nice. That's not part of kibber. But kibber is pertaining to the deen, meaning you're arrogant, pertaining to the deen. <laughs> Allah says this, but Rasulullah also said this, but you say, I don't care, I'm going to do what I want to do. He said, an arrogance is the belittling of your brother or your sister. Thinking you're better than the next person and talking down on the next person. Uh, and being arrogant, that's kibber. Because Allah gives you to whom he pleases and he takes away whom he pleases. If Allah bless you with something, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Allah didn't bless this person with something, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. It's not for me to be arrogant because I got it and they don't. Because if you really believe, have your mind, it says you want or love for your brother or your sister, but it is you want and love for yourself. So if you got it, you want to have it, you should want your brother or your sister to have no more or have it. That's your mind. Action. That's a part of being saved from the fire. That's action, right? Not being arrogant and talking about the next person to walk around with your nose in the air and looking down on people. That's kibber, okay? 
Any exam any questions? Questions? But yeah, call it talks, obedient, solely hot, righteous, those who work righteous deeds. They increase in good deeds. They increase in the fasting. They increase in their obedience. They increase in their modesty. Right? They increase in the things that Allah tells them to do.